Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video day. And today we're going to be talking about if the Houston Rockets should trade the fourth overall pick um, after getting the fourth overall pick in the 2023 NBA Draft Lottery last night. And th it's reported the Rockets could be interested in trading the fourth overall pick away and potentially using it to get better players. And, you know, I, I'm up and down about this, you know. Um, I kind of want us to use that fourth overall pick and get, I know a lot of Rockets fans want the Rockets to get Eamon Thompson, but I kind of want the Rockets to get Oscar Thompson. I like him more just because, you know, the Rockets need better defenders and Eamon Thompson, he's a decent defender, but not as good as Oscar Thompson. They need better shooting. Oscar Thompson's a better three point shooter than Eamon and also Oscar's a better defender. And Oscar's a little bit taller. He's, I think he's, uh, I think he's, I think, I think Eamon's six, six, five and a half. And, and Oscar's six, seven. And also, um, if the Rockets are going to bring in James Harden in free agency, the Rockets would need a small forward, not a point guard. Uh, because the Rockets are interested in Dre and James Harden. Uh, in free agency, that would put James at the one. Eamon Thompson is really a point guard slash shooting guard. I don't think the Rockets should put Jalen Green at the small forward position because he's, I think he's a little too small, in my opinion, to play the small forward position. So in that case, you add in Oscar Thompson, who's a really good catch and shoot shooter. And James Harden loves getting, giving catch and shoot opportunities. And I think, I think one of the I think one of the biggest winners in James Harden coming to Houston is the guy in the left corner, Jabari Smith Jr. I think Jabari Smith Jr., uh, if James Harden is on the Rockets, I think he gets a lot of catch-and-shoot opportunities. That's, that's, that's something that Jabari is really good at doing, shooting-wise. And James Harden would allow Jabari to shoot more and get way better looks on the floor, uh, whether it's from three or from mid-range. We saw Jabari start to start to become a way better player last year at the end of the year but I think with Harden he'd be an even better player and that, I think that goes for the same for Oscar Thompson with James Harden on the court I think he you know not as much as Jabari but I think Oscar Thompson would get a lot of catch and shoot and open looks with James Harden on the court uh, for the Rockets so yes I know Rockets fans want Eamon Thompson but if Harden's gonna come back I think Oscar Thompson is the better fit but let's not talk about James Harden. Let's not talk about Oscar Thompson in this video. Let's talk about what the Rockets should the Rockets keep this pick at the fourth overall pick and draft one of the Oscar Thompson brother. I mean, one of the Thompson brothers, or should they trade this pick? Let's talk about what a trade trading of the fourth overall pick would look like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. There's only two players that I think the Rockets. I mean, there's only two players in the NBA that I think I would be okay if the Rockets traded the fourth overall pick for for that you know for that for that player and that's Jalen Brown of the Boston Celtics and Mikhail Bridges of the Brooklyn Nets and and the only reason I'm talking about Mikhail Bridges is number one look at what he did at the, end of the, at the end of his season in Brooklyn he was phenomenal I think you add him into the Rockets offense with Jalen Green Jabari Smith Jr. and possibly James Harden and Al Prince and Goon you got that offense of of, of Harden Jalen Bridges uh, Jabari and Singun, that's a hell of a starting lineup. Uh, I'm not saying fourth overall pick straight up for Bridges. Um, maybe the Rockets send Kevin Porter Jr., Jay Sean Tate, and let's say let's say KJ Martin to the Nets, and the Rockets get Mikel Bridges, um, Mikel Bridges, and the let's say, the 22nd overall pick, and then maybe another player with Bridges. I'm not going to say Nick Claxton, but let's go ahead with, let's say, how about Dorian Finney-Smith? So maybe maybe Mikhail, maybe the fourth overall pick, This and I'm not, you know, I I'm, I'm just throwing something out there. The fourth overall pick, Kevin Porter Jr., Jay Sean Tate, KJ Martin, and... And let's go with a 2024 first round first rounder that Brooklyn owns. So Brooklyn gets one of their first rounders first rounders back for Mikel Bridges, um, Mikel Bridges, Dorian Finney Smith, and the 22nd overall pick in this year's draft. And that is just 
that is just coming up with a potential idea for the Rockets. The reason I'd like Dorian Finney-Smith potentially on the Rockets would be another catch-and-shooter off the bench for James Harden on the offense. And Dorian Finney-Smith would be really good on the Rockets with catch, you know, catch-and-shoot opportunities if Harden is back on the Rockets. Uh, that is just one trade I just thought about uh, potentially for the Rockets. Not saying they should do it, but that is one potential idea. And then Jalen Brown. Um, I guess, I'm guessing that would be probably Tari Eason, Kevin Porter Jr., uh, and K.J. Martin, and the fourth overall pick for Jalen Brown. That's what I would guess that would be right there. K.P.J., Tari, and and K.J. for... And then, and then also the fourth overall pick. And let's say the fourth and the 20th overall pick with Tari, K.P.J., uh, K.P.J., and and KJ uh, for Jalen Brown. And honestly, in my opinion, I think if Boston wins the NBA title this year, I don't think Jalen Brown is going anywhere. I'm not saying Jalen Brown's going to say he wants to stay in Boston, but I I think well, I think winning an NBA championship could do that. You know, possibly if they win the NBA championship, he might say, okay, this is good. I think we, we ought to keep it going. But I think if boston wins the championship this year i do not think brown i don't i don't think they're gonna move jalen brown at all um i think you would have to offer you know i'm not saying the spurs would do this but i think it would take the first overall pick and um and and some more uh and i'm not saying that's gonna happen at all but i think boston doesn't want to break it up and i don't i think if, if boston wins the championship i think the fourth overall pick and some other players might be might be hard for Boston to accept, even though that's a really good deal for Boston, potentially with Jalen Brown being a free agent the next year and potentially leaving them. So, I mean, that that's something I think we just have to wait and see what happen, would happen, though. But, I, you know, the, should the Rockets trade for the fourth overall pick? In my opinion, I think there's, I think only Bridges or, or Jalen Brown or only the two. Like, honestly, I like, I like Siakam, but I would not want to see the Rockets trade the fourth overall pick for Siakam, even if we got something else and had to, because we're going to have to probably give up KPJ and Jay Sean Tate and maybe like, uh, Josh Christopher, uh, with that fourth overall pick to get Siakam and maybe something else. So I don't think it is worth it. Um, I think Siakam's a great player, but, um, I'd rather I'd rather have Bridges or, or Jalen Brown than Pascal Siakam, in my opinion. Um, but that's just my opinion, though. Um, you guys, let me know. Do you think the Rockets should trade the fourth overall pick in the 2023 draft, or should they keep it and maybe draft Osser or Eamon Thompson? That's the video. Hope you guys enjoy them. Your thoughts and peace out. Go Rockets.